Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we are back at Blue Springs Trophy Trout Fishing through a little bit of trophy trout fishing. And this will be our very first video of the 2023 season. I've had a ton of fun out here fishing and filming all throughout 2022. And this is a brand new year for us to enjoy together. And I want to start off the year doing something fun. And that is an in-depth video on how to sight fish. As a lot of you guys know, all across the country, steelhead, salmon, and trout are the three most productive fish to chase during the cold weather season. Because all those other lake and big body fisheries, those fish get down deep and they get hard to catch. So we're out here targeting these small streams and creeks. And in today's video, I'm going to be throwing around that simple little 164 ounce ball head jig with one of our tiny little creek grubs. An absolute perfect finesse presentation to do some sight fishing out on these clear water fisheries. Now I've got that rigged up on some six pound fluorocarbon line with that Fenwick Eagle rod and that Fluger President reel. So let's not waste any time. Let's hop into the creek here today. Let's do a little bit of sight fishing and let's talk about how I like to do it. All right, guys and girls. One of the biggest things of sight fishing is the approach. We've got this beautiful little hole right here. Fast trickling water moving down into a nice deep pocket in this bend. And odds are there'll be some fish right in this bend. Anytime you find a bend in the creek or river, you'll typically get deep and those fish will hang out in there and wait on food to come to them. But while you're approaching, it's key to not spook the fish, to be very stealthy. I like darker colors. These blacks or camouflage is good. And try to avoid those bright colors as those fish will see you a mile away. If you can see them, they can see you. And another big thing is to be very wary of your shadow. As you can see, I'm approaching here with my shadow over my left shoulder. I'm gonna try to keep that shadow up into the shallows of the creek, and not let those fish know that I'm here. So let's go ahead and slide on up. Let's drop in cast number one. I'm going to approach super slow. I just seen a fish rise right there too. I'm going to approach super duper slow. I'm going to stay back. I don't see anything yet, so I'm going to make a couple blind casts. I'm just going to drop that lure right into the head of the hole. Right where that natural forage is going to be filtering through. And let that creek grub just simply fall on down nice and slow into that current. And we're going to bounce it on along. All right, everyone, we made our sneaky approach. We looked all around this hole. I have spotted one fish, but it did not react to our creek grub at all. So what our best bet is, is to move to more productive waters. When you're able to sight fish, you're able to see what the fish are doing, see how they're positioned, and see how they react to your lure. And if in this situation you only see one or two fish and you're getting no reaction, well, that means it's time to get up and move. And that's by far one of the biggest advantages of sight fishing is that you can judge right quickly whether the fish are interested or not. And if not, you can move on up the creek to more productive waters without a second thought. Right there is the first fish spotted. Really not sure how it's gonna react. We kept our shadow out of its way. I'm gonna go on ahead and take our simple little pink creek grub. We're gonna cast way out in front of it. We don't wanna spook this fish immediately. Work that lure across the run and see its reaction. All right, that fish came forward about eight to 10 inches, which is a great sign. We're still not going to cast on top of his head. We're going to get it just a little bit closer. See if we can get a charging reaction. All right, the fish did the same thing again. It made a nice long lunge. Did not come over to attack, but definitely peaked interest. So we're going to get even closer. Casting well past it as to not spook it. All right, on that cast, it began to back up. That's never what you want to see. So what we're going to do is that fish has seen that lure a few times. We're going to go on ahead and change that. A lot of you guys notice why I make these videos and I'm constantly changing lures back and forth and back and forth. And that is because once those fish begin to shy away from it, I will change up to something and try to get their attention yet again. So we're going to pop on that black grub just like so. We're going to drop it right in front of this little beauty. We're going to see if we can get a reaction out of it. All right, everyone. I want to give this a perfect presentation. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that split shot that we added. 
previously in our last hole is it was super deep and we needed that split shot to help us get down there. We're going to try a nice slow bounce by this fish. Anytime that you can see they are interested but not quite taking, drop that in our pocket there. It's best to try to change up that cadence until you can get that reactive strike and get it to go on ahead and take it. So we're going to tie back on here. No weight added, just a 164th ounce ball. And a simple little grub. And let's just see what happens. All right, let's try that again. Got him, just like that. That's all it took. Yes, it was a process, but we were able to get that fish to take. And that's really what it boils down to. There we go, sight fishing at its finest and we got the charge we were looking for i mean that fish came over and just slammed it that slower fall was exactly what that little beauty was looking for heck yeah everyone fish is angry flopping all around in the net Let's see if we can locate that creek grub as quickly as possible here so we've got it tangled up in our net a little bit there we go, quick pop loose. Beautiful fish number one to our sight fishing adventure. Let's let it go. There it goes, back in there like a rocket. Heck yeah. That's all it's looking like everyone. Just one little beauty out of here. Actually, I can see a second fish right there. Maybe even two. What we're gonna do is if you look, there's a bit of a limb hanging out over the water and it's just grass. There's nothing to get snagged up on. So I'm gonna do my best to cast that creek grub over that grass and allow it to fall down into the water and then we're gonna simply bounce that thing right in front of where these fish are. So let's go on ahead and try that now. Got him, just like that. Wow, that was so textbook, everyone. So textbook right there. We even got our little blade of grass still attached there that we had our lure laid over. This is a super nice fish too, everyone, wow. Very nice fish. It's another awesome sight fishing technique. That gets it done day in and day out. Wow, what a little beauty. Well, popped off in the net. And right there is that simple blade of grass we were laid over. And this fish right here had to have it. Took several casts to get the right presentation. But once we got that dialed in, this fish was nothing short of caught. Roll over and take off, little girl. Want to see you go. Take off. There she goes, back in there strong. Heck yes, everyone. Textbook sight fishing at its finest. There we go, another one. Doing the exact same thing, everyone. Wow. Flipped it over there. Now this was a complete blind cast. I did not see the fish. I flipped it over there over a limb, jigged it around, and there was another one hanging out underneath that undercut bank. Heck yeah, everyone. Too awesome. And that fish came out and just destroyed that old creek grub. Most anglers would have never made that cast. But because we realized there was one over there before and we made that presentation and it worked, I thought I would try it again before moving up the creek. As you can see, there's the grass I was over. And there is that creek grub right where you want to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Heck yeah. Another beautiful fish. 
using one of my favorite techniques take off there we go everyone heck yes all right everyone sometimes when it comes to sight fishing seeing the fish isn't always the key sometimes seeing fish habitat is if you look right here in front of us there's a big stack of old limbs that have been piled up by a beaver and oftentimes those trout or other salmonoid species will get right up next to those beaver dams and call it home unlike the otter the beaver feeds on saplings and small roots and twigs and they really don't pose a threat to those trout so anytime you see a place like this that's got some beaver dams be sure to stop at each one and flip a lure right out in front of it and just see if somebody comes out to get it Let's sneak around the edges. There may be some beavers at home. We don't want to get them all riled up and angry. Let's pitch in a cast right in the front of this one. See if there isn't anybody hanging out inside. Oh, and a big beaver. That was pretty awesome, everyone. I have to do a slow-mo on that and see if you guys were able to spot that beaver. The fish came in to look, and so did a big old beaver. Well, everyone, I was able to spot at least one trout underneath the old beaver dam here, including the old beaver who made this dam. But... Wasn't able to get him to bite, unfortunately. It was more of a snag fest than anything. Ended up spooking that fish pretty bad. But all in all, if you run into something like this, log jams or beaver dams, be sure to give them a try as those trout will get right underneath them and make it quite fun. And oftentimes, if you find one, well, you found several. All right, everyone. As I peer into a hole like this one with that sun over my shoulder, using those polarized lenses, those lenses are absolutely key to sight fishing. If you don't have them, odds are you may as well just do some blind fishing because you really do need those glasses to cut that reflection down. But in places like this that I'm looking into, I cannot see the fish or see the bottom. And what I find is best is just to simply take my hand, make a nice cup and block that sun just like that. Bring it up to my face, block that sun, and now I can see the bottom. After further inspection, I don't see anything in this run, so let's keep it moving on down the creek. All right, guys and girls, making our way into another hole. Same situation, very slow approach. Being wary of my shadow, unfortunately, it's going to cast into this hole. There's nothing I can do about it. But what I can do is stay back, let my polarized lenses work, Try to figure out where some fish are. As a matter of fact, I can see a couple already. So let's go on ahead and slide down here into position. Get our shadow stabilized and steel. Let's flip a couple casts in here. I mean immediate bite. Wow. I'll watch that fish come over and just slam that old creek grub. Let's try that same cast again. Got him. There we go. Flipped it in there. Stayed wary of my shadow. Swung and missed him once. He came back for it again. That's what we like to see, everyone. Wow, pull and drag, fighting super hard. This fish is angry. Absolutely gorgeous. Down there just to fight me. Alright, let's 
slide this little puppy into the net. There we go. Beautiful fish. Looks like he's kicking the net. There we go. Check that one out, everyone. Beautiful fish. Heck yeah. Let's let him take off out of here as well. Take off, buddy. All right. Now we've kind of disturbed the hole a little bit. We put our shadow almost to the middle. I'm just going to stand still. Give it time for my shadow to kind of middle out a little bit there and then get used to it. I'm just going to make some short cast jigging that old creek grub around. See if I can't get another one to come on over and get it for us. With this bigger hole, and as you guys can probably tell, it gets quite deep right out there. I think a lure change up to something a little bigger and bulkier and easier to see really is going to be the key. Oftentimes i found that when you're doing some sight fishing, if you can't see the lure, well, you can't properly sight fish for them. So let's go ahead and drop that yellow bug on over in there. Bounce it on around. See if we can watch one come over and eat it. Right on top of where one's laying. There we go. Watch that bug disappear. That's what we like to see, everyone. Nice fish, too. Fighting super hard. Able to make a quick lure change, color change. Watch that yellow color bounce around in the hole. And I'll watch this one come over and just destroy it. There we go. Let's see if we can find that old creek bug. There we go. Kick that out of that fish's mouth right at us. Another beautiful fish. That color change was what we needed. Watch that lure disappear. Another fish in the net using my favorite techniques of sight fishing. Heck yeah. There we go. I ran into the old culprit upstream there. It's an old beaver. It's got all this brush thrown out everywhere. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Yeah. That little poke right in the roof of the mouth. Do pretty. I do. They're all running all over the place now. I don't know what they're running from. There he is. That sucker came out of there and just smoked that thing. Unreal. Looks like I got a wrap somewhere. Yep. Yeah. All right now, fish, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh wow, what a mess. We'll be lucky to get this one in everyone there we go is he still on there yeah he's still on there wow what a mess talking to a young fellow there this one came out and just crushed that old lure wrapped me all up wasn't ready for the hook set unreal definitely a retie coming in my future it's like fishing this old bush not really fishing not really casting to the fish as much, it's just casting to the location. And another one on the old NRV baits. There we go. Heck yeah, everyone. That one come out of there like a rocket and just crush that old lure. There it goes. Back in there, happy and healthy. And we've got a retie coming our way. 
Well, everyone, that is pretty much going to do it for today's little sight fishing adventure. I've had a ton of fun out here at Blue Springs Trophy Trout Fishing, sight fishing some of these monster size rainbows. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button. And if you have any questions about sight fishing or any questions in general, feel free to ask away down there in the comments. I do my best to reply to each and every one of them. And if you'd like to get your hands on some of those lures used to catch all those awesome rainbow trout, all you've got to do is click that very first link in the description. It'll take you straight to my website. Be sure to use code YouTube10 in all caps to save 10% off any order, $25 or more. Be out there if you can, everyone, and do yourself some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.